All of us have moments of pride and rebellion. Sometimes these moments get forgotten. Sometimes the consequences last a long time, as the people in Ghent found out. This story is about honor, humiliation, and how it can decide the fate of an entire city. It tells us how the people of Ghent got their nickname Stroppedragers, or news bearers. This is the Butcher's Hall in Ghent. In Flanders, craftsmen actually ruled the cities through their place in city government. Honor was vital for them, not only for the grandeur of the city, but also for their commercial activities. Because honor could make or break your business, public display, like being openly chained to a building, was considered a harsh punishment possibly the end of a career. But what if the emperor himself chose to diss you in public? Charles V, emperor and born in Ghent, decided to raise taxes in the city of Ghent. Not surprisingly, the citizens refused to pay. And then Charles V decided to take care of business himself. With an army of over 5,000 soldiers, he entered the city of Ghent in 1540 and took control of this place, the Prinsenhof, the court of princes. Then all hell broke loose. Charles wanted to teach the people of Ghent a lesson they would always remember, by humiliating them to the bone. He made the insurgents walk the streets from this city hall to the Prinsenhof with a noose tied around their neck, showing them that they actually deserved to be hanged. There they had to beg on their knees for mercy. Their humiliation was complete. Now, what is true about this story? Well, it's all true, really. Emperor Charles V wasn't kidding. As a symbol, he took their famous alarm bell, Klokke Ruland, destroyed the St. Baves Abbey and some of the city walls, and not only did they have to pay the tax, which started all the misery, but also an enormous fine on top of it. But nothing is stronger than a humiliation carried with pride and thrown back like a boomerang. So this is why the people of Ghent proudly call themselves stroppedragers or news bearers. Each year, during a 10-day festival called the Gentse Feesten, the people of Ghent parade through the streets carrying this noose around their neck. So you could say that the noose as a symbol of punishment and humiliation for the people of Ghent became a symbol of pride, honor and stubbornness.